Long ago, on the western part of Nigeria, there was a fisherman. He lived with his wife in a small wooden hut down by the shore. When it rained, the water came dripping through the roof, and when the wind blew, it rattled and shook the windows in their frames, and the hut was very small. But despite all this, the fisherman and his wife had plenty of fish to eat, and they were happy together with their life in the wooden hut. One day, the fisherman took his boat out to the sea, dropped his net over the side, and waited and waited. When the time was right, he began to haul the net in, but it seemed much heavier than usual. This must be a great cash, he thought. And sure enough, when he hauled the net up and on the boat, there among the sardines, herrings, and mackerel was a huge fish, the biggest fish that the fisherman had ever seen. Its silver skin gleamed and sparkled in the sunlight and on its head was a golden crown. You must let me go, said the fish. Let me free to swim back in the sea, for I am no ordinary fish. I am the king of all the fish. In return for letting me go, I shall grant you a wish. If you could wish for anything in the world, what would it be? Well, the fisherman was speechless. He didn't know what to wish for. But the fish said, You have one day to decide. Come back here tomorrow and tell me what it is you wish for. But how will I find you again? Asked the fisherman. You just need to call Fish Fish, King of Fish. Please grant my greatest wish and I will come, answered the fish. So the fisherman made his way home, and as he walked along the path, he wondered what he could wish for. Maybe a new net. His old one had been repaired many times, but still had holes in it. Or maybe he should wish for a bigger and better fishing boat. When he got to the little wooden hut, he told his wife all that had happened. Husband, cried the wife, clapping her hands with excitement. We would ask for something much bigger and better than a new boat. You must ask that fish for somewhere bigger for us to live. A large cottage with vegetable and fruit garden. A hen to give us fresh eggs every morning and a cockerel to wake us up every day. So, the next day, the fisherman went back to the shore, and he called out, Fish, fish, king of fish, please grant my greatest wish. And at once, the silver fish appeared, wearing a golden crown on its head. So, have you decided what to wish for? asked the fish. Yes said the fisherman, I wish for a large cottage with a vegetable and fruit garden, hens to lay eggs and cockerel to wake us each morning. So be it, said the fish, your wish is granted. And the fisherman found himself beside a beautiful cottage. And there we are, vegetable and fruit gardens. Hens laying eggs, and a handsome cockerel crying, Cockadoodle do. This is wonderful, said the fisherman. It's a dream come true, and it was wonderful for a week or two. But then there was so much work to do every day. There was the garden to weed and water, the hens to feed and eggs to collect. And the worst thing was that every morning at four o'clock, the cockerel would cry, cock a doo, -doo, doo 
The fisherman and his wife hardly got any sleep at all. It's not good, said the fisherman's wife. You will have to go back and speak to that fish. Speak to the fish, asked the fisherman. Yes, said his wife. You will have to ask that fish for a different place to live. A castle with plenty space and people to help us clean, cook and weed the garden. So the next day, the fisherman went back to the shore and he called out, Fish, fish, king of fish, please grant my greatest wish. And at once the silver fish appeared with the golden crown on its head. What is it? asked the fish. What's wrong with the cottage? Well, there is nothing exactly wrong with the cottage, said the fisherman. It's just that there is so much work to do every day. And the cockerel is keeping us awake by crying out, cock a doo 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 What we would really like is to live in a big castle with plenty of people to help us with the cooking, cleaning and looking after the garden. Is that what you really wish for? asked the fish. Yes, said the fisherman. That's my greatest wish. So be it, said the fish. Your wish is granted. And the fisherman found himself beside a huge castle with many people to help them do their chores. The rooms in the house were too many that at first he couldn't find his wife, but at last he found her in the dining room where there was an enormous table three times the size of their little wooden hut. On the table were food of different kinds, roasted chicken, platters of vegetables, fruits, and there were lots of people running around, bringing more food and lightening the fires in the room. On the walls were paintings and suits of armor. It was wonderful. And the fisherman and his wife were very happy in the castle. They enjoyed the castle, but it was so dark, damp, and drowsy. And there were so many rooms that they were always getting lost. By the time they found the dining room each evening, the dinner was cold. And by the time they found their way to bed, it was almost time to get up. This is no good, said the fisherman's wife. You will need to go back and speak to that fish. Tell that fish that we need somewhere warm and sunny to live. Where it's hot all the day. A villa with a swimming pool. So, the next day, the fisherman went back to the shore and called out, Fish, fish, king of fish, please grant my greatest wish. And at once, the silver fish appeared with the golden crown on his head. What's wrong with the castle? asked the fish. Well, it's just that it's so cold, damp and drowsy, said the fisherman. What we would really like is to live somewhere warm and sunny, a villa with a swimming pool. Are you sure that's what you want? asked the fish. Yes, that's what I wish for, said the fisherman. So be it, said the fish. Your wish is granted. And the fisherman found himself beside a villa in the southern part. The sun was beating down and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. In front of the villa was a beautiful swimming pool and just over the wall was the sea sparkling blue in the sunlight. It was wonderful. And the fisherman and his wife were very happy there for a week. But it was just so hot all the time. Hot, hot, hot every day. The fisherman and his wife were from the west. And they weren't used to non-stop sunshine. They began to long for some rain, drizzle, and mist. 
It was so hot that they had to stay indoors every day until the cool of the evening. This is no good, said the fisherman's wife. It's far too hot. And well, I missed our little wooden hut. It only needed a new roof, some windows, and maybe some extra space. I would like to go back home. So the next day, the fisherman went to the sea. As he called out, fish, fish, king of fish, please grant my greatest wish. And all at once, the silver fish appeared yet again with the golden crown on its head. What is it now, said the fish, rather angrily. What's wrong with the villa? Well, it's just that we want to go home. To our little wooden hut, said the fisherman. We were very happy there. And it just needed a new roof and windows. And it just needed a new roof, windows and an extra room. Are you sure that's what you wish for? Ask the fish. Because this is your very last wish. Yes, said the fisherman. This is my greatest wish. So be it, said the fish. Your wish is granted. And the fisherman found himself back in the little wooden hut down by the shore but now when it rained the water no longer came dripping through the roof and when the wind blew it was always warm and cozy inside there was a new room and a shed where the fisherman could keep his nets and fishing tackle and so the fisherman and his wife lived happily ever after the moral lesson of this story is that we should always be satisfied with what we have. A person cannot be happy if he or she cannot find happiness in the things that they already have. The fisherman in this story was a satisfied person, but his wife was very greedy. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Bye!